Today I'm going to show you how to create really cool and really fun double exposures in Adobe Photoshop. Now to do that we're going to be messing around with layer masking and also changing the colors about as well to make a really cool and a really smooth blend between the two exposures. So the first thing to do is drag and drop the background image that you're going to use into Adobe Photoshop and I'm using this image of a lovely bushy tree. Now make a duplicate of the background image by pressing Ctrl and J on the keyboard so you've got layer one in the right hand side. Now I would recommend desaturating all of your images so they turn black and white. It is entirely up to you but just for me double exposures always work a lot better in black and white. Now to quickly turn an image into black and white and desaturate it press Ctrl, Shift and then hit you on the keyboard and that will turn it black and white for you straight away which is really easy and a really cool keyboard shortcut as well. So minimize Photoshop for a second and then drag and drop the second image that you're going to use or the image that you're going to add the second exposure to. Now roughly put it in place but don't press the check mark just yet. Decrease the opacity down to about 50% so you can see the image behind. And if you need to rescale the image, then just take the cursor away from the selection. Hold Shift and Alt at the same time so the cursor turns black or the black arrow. Go over to one of the corners and then just drag it out so you can resize the image in scale. So that looks pretty good for me. And I'm just going to move this around by holding left click. And what I want to do is try and get the shoulder line at roughly the same height as the tree line. So we're maintaining a little bit of symmetry and it'll make the image blend in a little bit more as well by using the natural lines and the natural contours of the two images together. So once you're happy with that, just hit the check mark or press enter on the keyboard. Next, decrease or not decrease, increase the opacity back to 100% so you can see the foreground image and then just hit enter and that will set for you really nicely. Next, add a layer mask on top next to the FX button in the layers panel and then press control and I to make the, well to invert it and make it disappear. Now, go over to your brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard and then have the foreground colors set to black and white and if you need to do that just press D on the keyboard and to switch between the two you want to be holding X. Now my brush cursor has disappeared and if this has ever happened to you and you don't know how to get it back just hit the caps lock and that'll bring it back on for you. You won't believe how many people have gone I've, I've, lost, my, I've lost my brush tip I, I don't know how it is but Basically what this is, is is a feature within Adobe Photoshop. So if you need to see like the dead center or the dead center point of your brush or of your brush icon, then you can just hit the caps lock and you can see that, okay, I want to kind of get to this point here and that's going to be the dead center point of my brush. And it, it is useful in, in some methods, but not in what we're doing today. So I'm going off track. So I'll just zoom back out, hit the caps lock so I can see the brush tool as normal. Now, the color is filled as black or the layer mask is filled as black so we won't be able to see anything so hit X to change the brush tool to white select a really soft edged brush and have the opacity and the flow at 100% and the hardness and zero and the size it whatever you want we're going to change that with the brackets under the plus and return key but the idea is just to bring in all of the features so we can start to work with it so don't worry about refining it for now we just want to bring in the face and the body so we can see what we're working with so I'm just going to do that now really quickly if you need to zoom in and out as well just hold alt and scroll on your mouse so now that we've done the basics and we can actually see the two images together what we need to do is we need to blend them in as best as we can so to do that decrease the opacity and the flow of the brush tool and just keep switching between the black and the white and just create a really smooth blend between the two so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time on this now and I'll speed up the video so you can watch how I do it and how I decrease and increase the flow and opacity as well and make sure that you're always using a soft edge brush as it's a lot easier to blend in without seeing any strong lines so let's get it going
So that's turned out pretty good for me, but there are a couple of other things that you can do just to improve the blend just a little bit more. So you can add a gradient over the top, which is obviously going to mix everything together really nicely. You can add the gradient and change the blending mode to overlay like that to add a gradient or a color on top of the whole image, which makes it blend together. So I'll just get rid of that. I'm going to keep mine as it is, or you can change the curve. So again, just add an adjustment layer and select the curves and you can increase or decrease. I'll just make this pop out. So if you change the curve upwards, it's going to increase the brightness of the whole image together. Or if you change it down, you can make the whole image a little bit darker. But what you're doing is you're adjusting both layers together. So the image is always going to blend better if it's all in sort of the same light, if you understand what I mean. So if I just adjusted that up just a little bit, it just makes it blend just a little bit better. But that is how you create really easy double exposures in Adobe Photoshop. I literally did this in a couple of minutes. So the more time that you spend on it, the better it will look for you. So... I hope you like this tutorial guys and this video, please like, share and subscribe and don't be a pet too.